The Top 10 Greatest Medical Inventions of All Time Scientists and researchers around the globe have made countless medical inventions, so narrowing the list down to just 10 was an arduous task. If you're looking to start your own medical research career or want to learn more about fascinating medical science, check out these 10 incredible medical inventions that have been life-changing for millions of people worldwide. If you're new to this channel, please click the subscribe button, like the video, and hit the bell icon for timely updates on incredible world facts that'll blow your mind. Without further delay, let's jump right in. Number 1. Antiseptics The word antiseptic was derived from a Greek root meaning against putrefaction. The term was first used in reference to surgical dressings at a surgeon's meeting in 1879, who agreed that carbolic acid and other chemical substances were useful as antiseptics for preventing wound putrefaction, and by extension, gangrene. By 1900, Joseph Lister had developed his famous antiseptic sprayer. Two years later, he died, after having created many medical breakthroughs during his lifetime. Medical science has come a long way since then. Nowadays, we have antibiotics, drugs that treat cancer and heart disease, plus organ transplants and artificial limbs. No doubt that modern medicine is more advanced than ever, but we've still got lots more work to do. Number 2. Penicillin Penicillin is one of those life-changing discoveries that has significantly impacted medical science and healthcare. First developed in 1928 by Alexander Fleming, penicillin fights bacteria, including infections caused by staph and strep. Before penicillin, some nasty infections resulted in death rates exceeding 80%. But thanks to Dr. Fleming's use of moldy bread to cultivate antibiotics, today more than 90% of people with serious bacterial infections survive. And there's even a drug created from specific molds used to make penicillin. Today, we have several different forms of penicillin and other antibacterial medicines available for people suffering from infection or disease. Number 3. X-rays Early in his career, German psychologist Wilhelm Rotgen noticed that certain materials exposed to high-frequency electromagnetic fields appeared to generate their own glowing light. The X-rays he observed had been predicted some years earlier by Maxwell's theory of electromagnetism, but no one had been able to demonstrate their existence until Rotgen serendipitously made them visible in his lab. This leap from idea to reality paved the way for discoveries. Soon, radiographs, or x-rays, were being used on everything from broken bones to influenza outbreaks. X-rays revolutionized medicine and earned Röntgen a Nobel Prize for his work. Radiography continues to be an essential tool for diagnosing many ailments today. Number 4. Vaccines It's very difficult to pinpoint when vaccines became an accepted practice, mostly because the journey to discovery was long and complicated. Beginning with an attempt by Edward Jenner in 1796 to use inoculations to tame the infamous smallpox virus, the usefulness and popularity of vaccines grew very quickly. Thank a scientist if you've ever lived through chickenpox, smallpox, or measles. These three infectious diseases have been eradicated since vaccines were developed to fight them. Vaccines teach our immune systems to fight certain illnesses and infections without actually having to live through them. It's excellent news for people who want to travel and avoid getting sick at all costs, or don't want their kids to develop these diseases. Today, several vaccine development companies are working on ways to create safer and more effective vaccines, including cures for cancer. Number 5. The electrocardiogram, also known as an ECG or EKG, is a test that measures your heart's electrical activity. Typically, you can have an EKG test done in your doctor's office or at a hospital. The EKG test measures and records your heart rate or how fast your heart is beating, whether it's beating rhythmically or whether there are any irregularities within it. An electrocardiogram can help detect problems with your cardiac system, including damage to the heart muscle from a myocardial infarction or heart attack, abnormal rhythms that cause palpitations or irregular heartbeats, and changes in electrolytes such as potassium. Diagnosing these conditions early can save lives by allowing you to begin treatments immediately. Number 6. The MRI, or Magnetic Resonance Imaging, is a medical imaging technology that uses a strong magnetic field and radio waves to take images of your organs and tissues. It's safe, painless, and non-invasive, which means it requires no special preparation on your part for a doctor to give you an MRI. They've been used for many years to help doctors diagnose ailments like tumors, broken bones, and cardiovascular diseases. They've become very handy in recent years with technological advances, allowing more detailed images from more angles. 
Much like x-rays are used to peer into our bones, MRIs can produce detailed images inside our bodies. Without cutting through tissue or using radioactive substances that could cause harm later on down the line. Number 7. CT scan, also called a CAT scan or computed tomography scan, was developed in 1970 by Godfrey Hounsfield, the godfather of CT scanning. The very first CT scan or CAT scan was pioneered at University College London in 1973, and like many others, is an application of X ray technology. This method creates cross-sectional images and data sets from an object's inside out in 3D. It combines a series of X-ray images taken from different angles around your body and uses computer processing to create cross-sectional images or slices of the bones, blood vessels, and soft tissues inside your body. CT scan images provide much more detailed information than X-rays do. A CT scan has many uses but it's particularly well-suited to quickly examine people who may have internal injuries from car accidents or other types of trauma. A CT scan can be used to visualize nearly all parts of the body and is used to diagnose disease or injury as well as to plan medical, surgical, or radiation treatment. During a CT scan, you lie in a tunnel-like machine while the inside of the machine rotates and takes a series of x-rays from different angles. Number 8. EEG used for brain wave mapping in 1901, Hans Berger, a German neurologist and psychiatrist, developed the electroencephalology, an invention that records brainwave patterns through electrodes attached to your scalp. The EEG has been used as a medical diagnostic tool for more than 70 years. Today, it's still one of our most important tools for studying brain function in healthy and ill individuals. An EEG test is a test that detects abnormalities in your brain waves or in the electrical activity of your brain. During the procedure, electrodes consisting of small metal discs with thin wires are pasted onto your scalp. The electrodes detect tiny electrical charges that result from the activity of your brain cells. The charges are amplified and appear as a graph on a computer screen or as a recording that may be printed out on paper, which have to be reviewed and interpreted by a professional healthcare provider. The EEG is used to evaluate several types of brain disorders. When epilepsy is present, seizure activity will appear as rapid spiking waves on the EEG. People with lesions of their brain, which can result from tumors or stroke, may have unusually slow EEG waves, depending on the size and the location of the lesion. The test can also be used to diagnose other disorders that influence brain activity, such as Alzheimer's disease, certain psychosis, and a sleep disorder called narcolepsy. The EEG may also be used to determine the overall electrical activity of the brain, for example, to evaluate trauma, drug intoxication, or extent of brain damage in comatose patients. The EEG is also to be used to monitor blood flow in the brain during surgical procedures, among other things. Number 9. Polio Vaccine – Jonas Salk Before 1960, more than 1 million cases of paralytic poliomyelitis were reported in the United States annually. By 1972, there was only one. Also called polio or infantile paralysis, it's a crippling disease that targets children and youth. Nowadays, modern medicine can combat polio and prevent people from contracting it with an injection known as a Salk vaccine. The first successfully tested polio vaccine was developed in 1955 by Dr. Jonas Salk. He used a deactivated form of virulent SV40, known as OC or oncogenesis causing to treat adults suffering from severe consequences like brain damage and death from acute polio infection. Number 10. Steam Sterilization Autoclave or Robert Koch's Anthrax Experiments Along with Louis Pasteur, Robert Koch was one of the two founding fathers of microbiology. He was awarded a Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1905 for his discovery of the pathogenetic mechanism that causes anthrax. In addition, he developed an apparatus to sterilize medical instruments by exposing them to high temperatures to 134 degrees Fahrenheit. This process helped reduce rates of illness among soldiers and gave rise to various commercial uses for steam power, including public health and industries such as textiles, food processing, and laundry. Eventually, he used his method on himself and died from tuberculosis but not before he determined that tuberculosis was caused by a bacterium called Bacillus anthracis. All these inventions are equally crucial to our human race to make the world a little bit better. Are there any other medical devices that you're interested in learning more about? Please share them in the comments section below and we may consider adding them to a future video. Remember to leave us a like, 
hit the bell icon, and share with others who may enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.